Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This pick a card reading is for love and we are going to be taking a look at your person and their message to you. Their message for you, right? So I have cards and crystals on the table. If you haven't as of yet chosen a card or a crystal for your reading yet, go ahead and do that now. Uh, there are timestamps that will take you back to the very beginning of the video where you can pause where necessary Look at the cards up close in silence so you're not disturbed during your decision-making process. Take as much time as you need in order to choose. And if during that time you feel led to pick more than one card or crystal on the table, by all means, listen to your intuition, right? That's always going to be highly encouraged here. If you feel it necessary intuitively to pick more than one card or crystal on the table, go ahead and listen to that, right? These readings are timeless, so whether you watch it at the upload time or sometime after, if it's placed into your awareness and you feel that intuitive nudge to watch, again, there could be a message here for you. Um, it may or may not resonate, right? Because at the end of the day, it's general, although I hope you find a message here. But what I always say is if you don't find a message here in this particular card reading of mine, maybe check out my Pick a Card playlist. I have a bunch of Pick a Cards I've already done. There could be one that you might find that resonates better. Uh, have fun exploring at your leisure, right? And I always also remind you that if I'm not the reader for you, that is okay. YouTube has many readers out there. I'm pretty sure there's going to be one that the universe will lead you to in order to give you the message that you're seeking at this time. So go out and find uh, your message, right? If I'm not the one delivering it today. So I'm going to leave you here and I will meet you at your reading. Pile number one. This is your card. There is a message on the back of that. I will be sure to incorporate that towards the end of the reading. Uh, all the cards that you've, you know, you have to choose from. I did shuffle for these for each pile in order to give you something to choose from. But yeah, I will definitely incorporate that. This is your crystal. That is a beautiful clear quartz. All right, that is your crystal. I'm just going to put that there for you. We are looking at your person. They have a message for you. Their message for you is the name of this reading. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the Romance Angels. Um, oldie but goodie, right? Type of uh, love reading deck. So let's see, their message for you, your person, whoever that may be, that could be friend, family member, that could be lover, love interest, uh, soulmate, right? Their message for you, your person, their message for you right now. What is their message for you right now? We're going to leave it open for the universe to use this reading as a way to deliver a message for you from them. So let's see their message for you. Okay, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So right there, that's an indication that their message for you is that they want to work on this. They want to come together because when you look at these, the two people in the card, they are embracing, they are, it feels like creating a spiritual union. But they're coming together. It's like um, heart to heart, right? I, I get. I guess what I'm trying to say is exactly that. They want a heart to heart. Your person, their message to you is that they want a heart to heart. I want a heart to heart with you. I want to work on the partnership is their message. Okay, and then we have the seven of cups that flew out. Their message to you is that they're feeling confused right now with that seven of cups energy. All right, let's see if we can get two more. They're a little overwhelmed right now emotionally. Things might feel up in the air. So their message to you is that uh, they recognize that things are very much up in the air. And that things might feel very unsolid or not feel solid between you. And they want to work on it so it can be solid again is the feeling that I'm getting from this. So your person, their message to you right now. So we have the five of wands and we have the world. Okay. So their message for you is that, or to you, that is that they want to work on this partnership. They want to 
come back together. It feels like they want to solve the issues that have been left unresolved. The reason why I say that is because the five of wands is here and it does speak sometimes of conflict, sometimes conflict in a situation with somebody, especially since we're talking about love and relationships, right? So it can be where you don't see eye to eye with the five of wands. You're just on different pages. So their message for you is that I want to work on the partnership. I want to give this a chance. I want to have a heart to heart. I want to sit down and talk to you. I want to resolve the issues that have been left up in the air that have been unresolved all this time. There's underlying issues here. There's conflicts between us. I want us to come together and resolve these things so there's no more wondering. There's no more left things up in the air. We know where we both stand with each other. That's that Seven of Cups energy because it's it can speak of confusion. It can speak of things not being on solid ground. So your person is saying here, I don't feel like anything solid. I don't feel like anything solid between us. Everything is just all over the place and overwhelmed right now. I'm confused. I'm pretty sure you're confused. There are things that we don't agree upon with the Five of Wands. We've had our arguments. We've had our disputes. We are different people. We come from different mindsets and maybe um, upbringings, right? We have our differences. Maybe you don't know how I feel about you and vice versa, right? Maybe sometimes I don't know how you feel about me. But the one thing I do know, despite all that confusion between us, I want to work on this. I want to give it a chance. I want us to come together and resolve this. The five of wands is that, that internal conflict within oneself. So there's a lot of angst, it feels like, in this situation with you and your person. Uh, tension, yes, that's what this is feeling like, a lot of tension. And then not only that, um, there's external conflict oftentimes that the Five of Wands can speak of. So if it's not conflict within our own individual selves, it's conflict outside of ourselves, conflict in our environment, things that just are conflicting to us and cause us this angst and frustration. So it kind of feels like their per your person, their message to you is that they recognize with the Five of Wands that there are a lot of external factors as well as internal frustrations, but there's also external environmental factors that get in the way or create this tension in your connection. But it feels like they want to fix that. They want to heal that. They want to resolve that. The world energy here is an indication of learning lessons or things coming full circle. So again, it's this feeling of, for whatever reason, wanting to bring it back around, wanting to turn things around. To learn from the experiences that you guys had. Resolve it and learn from it and move on from it. It's kind of the feeling that this gives me with this reading, pile number one viewers. So it kind of feels like your person is saying to you, I don't want this to be an issue anymore. I want to fix this so that way it's no longer a problem. We can learn from this experience and we can level up from it. We can graduate from it because that's what the world is all about. It's all about a successful completion of something. It's about bringing something full circle, completing a cycle, yes, and sometimes ending, maybe ending the old cycle of frustration and angst that you guys once shared. But it all, when you close that out, you learn from that experience, but it also gives you the opportunity to move forward from it, right? And that's the feeling of this reading. So your person is saying, look, I want to heal this, fix this. I don't want to be confused about this between you and me anymore. I want to, you know know where we stand with one another with the seven of cups because i'm tired of feeling like things are up in the air like you don't know i don't know things are just mad confusing over here with the seven of cups um this ungrounded feeling of not knowing where i stand with you drives me crazy again seven of cups because it can speak of like a lot of uh, illusion a lot of um what's that word oh my goodness it's on the tip of my tongue hold on here I don't know why I just got the word neurotic. Anyhow, uh, may not, may or may not apply, but it kind of feels a little bit like the Seven of Cups is making your person a little crazy. Okay, and not saying that that's what that means, but it's kind of like 
it's just so much all over the place that it does, it can get under their skin not to know or not to, to have a resolution. Okay. I'm, I'm feeling anxiety, I guess. A little bit of anxiety, a little bit of frustration, lots of angst. Okay. And that can be overwhelming to one's emotions. Okay. Um, but the world is here saying, I don't want this to be an issue between us anymore. I want to resolve this. I want to conclude this vicious cycle of us not being on the same page. The world card is, is a... The world card is a very... How would you say... positive energy to me okay it's positive in a sense that there are things that you know you've come from a lot how would you say you've you've taken a long journey with this person it feels like okay and there are things that you and your person probably have learned along the way and the world is over here saying let's let's conclude this cycle this ongoing cycle that has left you and your person up in the air let's conclude this successfully Let's level this up. Let's grow from this. Let's 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 heal from this even is the vibe that I'm getting from the world energy here. Because the card, the next card from the major arcana after the world is the fool, right? And the fool is brand new energy. So the vibe that this is giving me is that they want new energy with you. They want to close out the old cycle and they want to start something new. That's why this energy is here saying, look, give it, let's give it a chance. Okay, let's give the relationship a chance. Let's conclude the old and move on from that. Let's level up from that. Let's graduate from that as individuals on our journey. We don't have to continue that same course of all this ungrounded, frustrated, angsty energy between us we can eventually agree to disagree or at least learn from each other via our differences, right, with that five of wands. And maybe get to a point where we can finally see from the other person's perspective. So I'm going to grab a few of these. And then because somebody requested it, uh, they requested that I... I pull a song for my playlist. Uh, I will do that. So let's see if we can get a few cards here. Uh, then I'll grab over the final and get a song for you, okay? So let's see. Oh, look at that. New, new energy with the child. Okay, so somebody might also have a child involved. Here's a death card which speaks of an ending. Aha. Okay. So what this is saying is that there's a new energy that wants to enter, a new beginning, okay? But there's also been a new beginning and an ending here. And I was talking about that, right? Because with the world card, it's a conclusion card. And then right after the world comes the fool, right? So again, there's this, this ending and beginning, like this weird phase that you guys might be in where you're closing out a cycle, but you also have the opportunity to start a new one. And here's the closing out of a cycle and then here's the new one, right? The thing is, is that your person, whoever your person is, male, female, doesn't matter, not gender specific, these cards at all, all right? The widower talks about whether male or female, doesn't matter the gender again. It talks about someone that they can't let go. They can't let go, okay? So it speaks of, not being able to let go. You hold on to things and people and situations, you can't let it go. So what this is telling me is that your person can't let this go. I don't think your person can let you go fully. Or they can't say goodbye to the situation until they feel that they get closure or that it's fully resolved or that they can at least see things from your perspective. That's the message here. There's a new beginning. There's an ending and a beginning. Like I said, there's an ending or a conclusion, but it also gives opportunity to start something new if you wish it. There's a chance to start over and give the relationship a chance, right? There's a chance to have that heart-to-heart -heart and come together and talk about it if you wish. 
And I think your person is trying to tell you right now that they wish that too. Because they don't like being up in the air with you anymore. They don't like to not know where they stand with you. I don't think they can fully let you go with this widower energy here. Okay, because you see the two lovebirds and they're mourning the loss of the connection or they're mourning the good times that you guys had. They're mourning what could be as well because of the five of wands here. There's like they feel angsty about what what is or what isn't, what could be, what could have been. Like, you know, those things like that. They go back and forth with that. They cannot let that go. Okay. So the light is still on because we do see a candle here. So the flame is still lit with that energy here. It could be that maybe you and your person broke up and ever since, or you guys stopped talking and ever since, you know, if it's that kind of situation, it, it's been in the death card energy. But there's this still this hope this hopeful energy of the child, which, you know, has a glimmer of hope that there could be something new. Because their flame has not died out, whoever this is. Okay, their flame hasn't died out. They would give, they would give anything to give the relationship a chance, even though maybe some things have concluded or maybe feel like they ended on a bad note. At the end of the day, there's like this, this weird liminal in between space that you guys are in right now. And it's frustrating to them. Their message to you is that it it drives them a little, you know, a little batty. It, it kind of puts them in this very ungrounded space. And it creates frustration in them to not know where they stand. Uh, they would love to give the relationship a chance, have that heart-to-heart -heart talk, talk it out, and see where it leads. Okay. So that's the card you chose. And it says, playfulness, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember... Love is the greatest healer. So maybe you guys can capture that again. Again, it's that feeling of wanting to have that heart to heart, wanting to finally hash it out, but in a good way where it ends up being productive and successful over here with the world. Um, and maybe recapture some of the good times because I think your person does miss that. All right, so let's see if we can get a song. If you're not familiar with my channel, what I do is I open up my, my Spotify playlist and... I have 800, as you can see, I have 800, where is it, 871 songs on there. So what I do is, I got to make sure that I don't have my volume up, by the way, either, because I don't want any copyright strikes. But what I do is I open up my playlist, right? I open up my playlist right here, like I'm going to do right now. Okay, there's all my like songs. And then what I do, sorry for all the weird lighting, I have a light above there and then one right over here too. Um, so what I do is the title of the song will come down over here, all right? I, I press shuffle. And whatever song comes up for you, okay, is a song from your person. All right, so, all right, let's see. Let's see if we can get a song from your person, okay? I'm trying to avoid the glare for you guys. Blow That Smoke featuring Tove Love and Major Laser. Okay, interesting. I'm not familiar with this song, or I have it on my playlist. I'm sure I've heard it before, but I'm like off the top of my head. I can't, for the life of me, tell you what the lyrics are. Okay. So maybe go ahead and research that song. I'll put the title and the song in the screen here so that way you can research that easily. So that song and those lyrics, if if any in there might have a message for you from your person, something that might connect you back to them or give you a confirmation or a synchronicity of some sort. But what I always tell you is that if the song doesn't relate to the reading at all or relate to you in any way in regards to your connection, that's okay because at the end of the day, I just introduced you to some new music, okay? So with all that being said, Star Family, I'll leave you here. Much love to you wherever you are. Um, if you feel that you want to support my channel, consider liking, sharing, subscribing. Click the little bell for notification as well because I upload often. And if you want to take it a step further to support what I do, check out my Etsy shop. I have a bunch of crystal jewelry there that I make by hand. I have Moldavite, Livian Desert Glass, um, and I also have personal readings when available. Okay, so much love to you. Take care and always keep shining.
Pile number two viewers, you chose this really cool piece of black tourmaline as your crystal. Uh, I'm going to put that there. This is your card. I did shuffle for the ones that you choose from, so I will definitely read this. There is a message on the back. I'll make sure to incorporate it towards the end of your reading. So we want to take a look at your person. We want to see what their message for you is. Okay, their message for you, your person, your special person, perhaps the universe will use this reading as a way to deliver a message to you from them. We are looking to see what their message for you is, right? So your person could be, could be friend, lover, soulmate, right? I'll leave that open. I, you know, it could be any dynamic in relationship, but let's see what your person their message for you. Let's see what that is. Okay. All right. So it says separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay. Let's take a look at the tarot. To see what their message for you is. It could be that, you know, you and your person at this time are in separation. Right. You guys are in separation. Maybe you guys have spent some time apart. Okay, what is that? That is the Nine of Cups. Let's see if we can get two more. All right, so we have the Nine of Cups, the Sun. Whoa. Oh, and the Lovers. Okay. Okay. Gemini energy, Gemini season. We also have Leo here. <clears throat> okay, so this is pretty cool. I mean, I know you guys are in separation right now, but if some of you are looking to connect back to your person or reunite with your person, I know it's Mercury retrograde as I record this, and it's usually never a good idea to get back with your ex during a Mercury, uh, Mercury retrograde because it can kind of fall apart, um, they say shortly after mercury retrograde is over so um anyhow the gemini energy is here with the lovers right this is feeling like there's the possibility that you guys can come back together okay that that you guys can connect back to one another i feel that this person uh their message for you is you know we're in separation right now I'm learning with the Nine of Cups how to be happy on my own because that's a self-love card. I'm learning to love myself perhaps in this time apart. Um, there's this feeling of looking for you in other places or in other things or maybe even in other people but failing to do so. Okay. The reason why I say this is because oddly enough, this guy is, he's looking into this cup or this, this stein, right? He's looking into it. He's like, it kind of feels like he's like has his one eye closed. Do you, do you ever do that? Like when you look through a telescope or something, you kind of have a tendency to shut your one eye and then leave the other one open as you're looking and peering into it. That's what it feels like this, this gentleman in the card is doing, right? He's looking into this cup and it kind of gave me the feeling that, you know, your person, wherever they are, um, they are looking for you or they have been while in separation looking for you in other people, places and things, but coming up empty or not being able to really find the essence of you or what you were or who you were when you were with them. Like they just can't find that in anyone else. Okay. And I think they have learned to love themselves because nine of cups is that energy of self-love learning to be happy on your own learning what makes you happiness what makes you happy what brings you fulfillment on your own and it's like only when you can find self-love can you really truly give love to another and then you know move on from the nine of cups to then have the ten of cups right i feel like in separation they have learned how to be happy on their own and at the same time they look for you everywhere is this feeling they look for you or they see you in everything okay i hope i hope this makes sense because the feeling it's it's weird to have to interpret how you feel into a sentence sometimes right and the feeling that i'm getting or the image that i'm getting is that they see you in different places like 
things that they see remind them of you. I think they're constantly searching for you in other people or in everywhere they go. They, they're hoping for a sign from you or a glimpse of you. But a lot of times they come up empty. And then when they're not looking, everything reminds them of you. So they can't escape you anyway. Like that's, that's a weird feeling this reading is giving me for whatever reason. I feel like, yes, you guys at the present moment are probably separated with this card here. Um, but their message to you is no one's like you. I've tried dating. I've tried doing my single thing, my single life over here with the nine of cups. I've tried filling my cup, right? With things that make me happy or what I feel make me happy. But really at the end of the day, what I'm looking for is you. So it's kind of like this feeling of the one thing that would make me happiest is reuniting with you because you are my sunshine, right? With the sun. You bring me this light. That's the light that's missing from my life is this feeling that I'm getting from this reading here. Well, in separation, I've learned. I've grown. I've learned to make myself happy. I understand what brings me happiness, what, what fulfills me. But there still is that one cup that's missing from my personal nine of cups. Okay. I don't have the ten of cups because you're not here. Or I'm not with you. You are my tenth cup. You are my tenth cup. Is what this is saying. You are the sunshine that I'm missing over here. I want to come back and reunite and connect with you. You are the, the yin to my yang, right? The yang to my yin. You're the thing that brings me balance and alignment, right? You're, you're the one thing that would bring me that balance and alignment. And I'm missing that one aspect of myself in you, okay? The lover's energy is feeling very twin flamey here. Yeah, this whole reading is feeling very twin flamey, okay? So if you guys believe in that concept, nonetheless, this is like a soulmate energy as well with the Gemini of the lovers, okay? It's divine masculine and feminine. Um, and we have that masculine and feminine energy within ourselves, but we also can find it within another externally, right? So what this is telling me is that your person is has been in essence they're saying that with this nine of cups i've learned to work on myself i and i have i've i've learned to love myself i've learned to figure out what makes me happy and what fulfills me as an individual but every time i'm out in the world i realize i'm still missing that one cup and that one cup is you i could have the ten of cups with you basically and I've tried, because the single life, nine of cups, right? I've tried dating and I've had fun here and there. I'm not going to lie. But at the end of the day, I, every time I date someone, I'm still searching for you, right? Because he looks in the cup and he's searching for something in the cup. So it feels like this is the one cup that he, you know, he's searching for. He's missing that one cup, right? The guy in the car. So your person, they are missing that one cup, which brings them this happiness, this joy, this, this life, right? With the sun energy. You might have bring, brought them light to their life. And it kind of feels like at, maybe at the time they couldn't see that, but they see that now. Again, they, they are reminded of you wherever they go. They're searching for you subconsciously wherever they are or whoever they're with. And... None of those things are you, right? None of those people are you. And that's why the lover's energy over here is like, I want to connect back. I want that balance back because I'm kind of out of balance without you. I'm missing the light. I'm missing some warmth in my life with the sun, not with you while we're in separation. I'm missing that sun. I'm missing that warmth that you gave. There's this feeling of you were their 
it feels like their happiest times were when they were with you. And now in separation, they're missing that. Their message to you is, I miss that. I want that back. The, all, the other message that I'm getting here is that at the time that they were with you prior to separation, they did not love themselves. I kind of feel like they didn't know their worth or they didn't know. It feels like they had, they were working, maybe in the time of separation, they've been working on that. And they've gotten to that point where they do feel better. They've learned to love themselves. They've learned to find out what makes them happy. Um, they have found some sense of happiness, but at the end of the day, their message here is here. In the time of separation, I've learned to love myself. I've come a long way. Um, I've found some semblance of happiness, and I found things that bring me joy. Yes, with the sun card here, but the one thing that's not there is you. Again, you're the missing 10th cup they have nine on their own but they're still missing you okay the lovers here's indication of that um and there's a choice here with the lovers card let's not forget that the lovers card can oftentimes talk of a choice so for whatever reason i'm also picking up the vibe that there's a need to consider something maybe consider their next move Maybe the decision, if they were to come back from out of separation um, and reach out to you with the lover's energy, it kind of feels like maybe they're aware of that the decision might be yours. Okay. So let's get a few cards here, and then I'm going to pull a song from my playlist. Okay. Songs from the playlist, um, you know, may give you messages within the song that comes up for you within the song title itself or in the lyrics themselves. But what I always say is if the song doesn't resonate, that's okay. Because at the end of the day, at least I introduced you to some, to some new music, right? So again, the song may resonate to the reading and what I've said in the reading. It might give you a special message for you in your situation with your person. Um, and if none of that connects, that's okay. Because, you know, I just introduced you to some music. So that's always good. So let's see if we get three cards here. Power number two viewers. A little bit more information. Okay, so there's wait, one, two, and three. Love, okay. With the lovers, widow. Ah, oh, okay. So, why did I hear the word distraction? Distraction with the mistress, right? And I did get the vibe that. In the midst of separation, maybe they have had their fair share of dating around, okay? And I think that goes well with the Nine of Cups because when you're single, you're doing your thing, you know, and whatnot, that makes sense. Um, I don't know if for some of you, the reason why you might be in separation is because of a third party. That's a possibility, right? But... This Nine of Cups card and this feel like they go hand in hand because when you're single, you're doing your thing. You're not really trying to settle down with anybody. You know, you might be tasting the rainbow a little bit um, with uh, like Skittles, right? <laughs> um, you might be tasting the rainbow like Skittles for a little bit, enjoying yourself, doing your thing. But at the end of the day, the feeling here that this gives me is that they might be trying to they might be single and ready to mingle, but at the end of the day, everybody they meet still does not even hold a candle to you or a flame to you, if you know what I mean. They don't even hold. Yeah, they just don't hold. Yeah, they don't compare, basically. Okay. So, yeah, there is love here. Cupid, arrows, and all that, right? So, again, this goes with the lover's energy. And then the widow. These cards aren't gender specific, like I said in the other reading. Uh, the Widow energy is an energy of someone who can't let go. They can't release. They can't move past. They struggle to move forward. So, again, it's this feeling of your person can't forget you. They could try, and it looks like they have. But the more that they learn about themselves with that Nine of Cups card, the more they realize that you're missing from the equation, right? Nine plus one 
equals 10. So again, they are they have their nine of cups right now on their own, but I think it took them work to get to that point. Um, they're not miserable, right? But they know that they're missing something and that something feels like it's you. Okay. And that's why the widow card shows up because she can't release. She struggles to let go. So it's kind of telling me that your person really has not forgotten you. Again, that feeling that I got of, um, you know, the, their message to you is, I see your name everywhere. I am reminded of you constantly. I am always, you know, deep down subconsciously, I'm looking for you in other people, in other places and other things. And I'm, I'm coming up empty because they're not you. Okay. So that's what this is telling me. Let's see what this card says and then we'll get a song. Okay. That's what you chose. Uh, it says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Again, the lover's card, right, is usually a choice. I don't know if you made the choice to separate. They made the choice to separate. But none, or whoever made the choice to separate doesn't matter because at the end of the day, when it comes to this experience, right, there's a chance to learn and grow from it. Right. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. And I was feeling like in the midst of separation, they had a chance to learn about themselves with the Nine of Cups. Right. And I think that that's what this separation has done. It forced them to learn about themselves. And it has expanded their understanding. And the more that they learn and grow in the midst of separation, the more they realize what they're missing. Okay. And I... I yeah with that lover's card there's a possibility they could try to reunite and come back in alignment with you I think that could be a choice that they're contemplating right now okay so let's go ahead and grab a song for my playlist I'm trying to avoid the glare here okay let me make sure I don't have any sound right so what I do is I click the shuffle button right there the song comes up down here the title itself might have a message for you, or you can dig a little bit deeper into the lyrics, okay, to get other messages from the song itself. If the song doesn't apply to the reading, or you feel it doesn't apply to the reading, then I guess I just introduced you to new music, as I said before, all right? So don't discard the song just because, let's say, it doesn't connect for this reading, uh, or give you an extra special message or something like that, just in case it doesn't, okay? Because music is awesome. So uh, let's see. What message can we get from your person via a song? It's like that. Mariah Carey, Jermaine, Jermaine Dupri. That's a good song. I would look it up. Maybe check out the lyrics to see what else you get uh, for this reading. See how it connects to the reading or maybe see how it delivers something extra to you. All right. So this is your reading pile number two viewers. If you feel that this has connected for you, by all means, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe as well to support this channel. Every interaction does help this channel grow. And if you want to take it a step further uh, to support what I do, consider checking me out on Etsy. The link to my shop is in the description box it's just a matter of paying me a visit i do have personal readings there when available handmade crystal jewelry and really cool tech tights like moldavite and uh libyan desert glass there so anyhow go ahead and check out my shop if you feel inclined to much love to you wherever you are be well be safe take care and always keep shiny pile number three viewers you chose this really cool piece of amethyst as your crystal this is your card. I did shuffle for these, so I will definitely be incorporating this into the reading. Towards the end, there is a message on the back. Uh, we are looking at a message, right, for or from your person. Did you see that? So their message for you is what this reading is about. But that flipped over, and it says, yes, this is your soulmate. So if some of you were looking for confirmation as to whether this person is your soulmate, there's your answer. So their message for you is, you are my soulmate, okay? You are my soulmate is their message for you. So pile number three viewers, your person, their message for you. Their message for you. What is their message for you? Pile number three viewers. All right, three cards. Let's see. Wow, no way. Two of cups. 
Six of Cups. Okay, this is getting deep. Oh, and the Three of Swords. Okay, so I don't know what's going on with you and your person. I don't know if you're together or if you're apart or if you've had some issues or heartbreaks um, or maybe a recent breakup or something like that or you're having struggles with one another. But the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups are both soulmate cards. Okay, definitely soulmate energy confirmed one, two, and three times. Okay, and then you are pile number three and you get a three in your reading on top of that. Um, so what this is telling me is that your person acknowledges you as their soulmate. Their message to you is, you're my person. You're my soulmate. I know we have conflicts maybe of head and heart. I know that I may feel conflicted or come off as conflicted with the Three of Swords because it is a conflict of head and heart oftentimes. If it's not a third party situation, then it's definitely the heart and the mind fighting each other. Okay, heart might say one thing, my mind might say another, and there's that weird conflict in between. Okay, so what this is telling me is your person is like, look, you are my person, you are my soulmate, you're the one that I feel most connected to with the two of cups here. There are moments where we see eye to eye like the two of cups, we have that connection, we feel each other, we have that vibe. The Six of Cups is a card where oftentimes you're you're nostalgic for your person, you're missing your person, you, you're sometimes with the Six of Cups looking at their pictures, looking at their photos, right? Thinking back on the good times, wishing that you were with them, but then oftentimes with the Six of Cups, you're not. Oftentimes the Six of Cups is a card of someone who's in the past or distant from you and all you have really to hold on to for now is the memories. So it kind of feels like for some of you this might be an issue where you're not with your person. The Three of Swords can definitely confirm that. A breakup, uh, separation, heartbreak, loss, right? So I mean look at the sadness here in this card, right? There's sadness here. So it's kind of feeling like your person, their message for you is you're my person. I miss you. I'm thinking of you. I look at your photos with the Six of Cups. I am nostalgic for the good times. I think about all the times we shared and I get in my feelings about it with the Three of Swords energy. I am conflicted though. I have issues where I can't always, you know, figure out what it is that I want. Sometimes I'm confused. One one moment my heart tells me one thing, another moment my mind says something else or tries to talk my heart out of it and then it just creates this trouble that I feel. Okay. It could be a three-party situation for some of you where there's someone else involved and all they have left of you is the memory because there's someone else in the picture. Also, it could have been a breakup where, again, all they have left of you is the memory of the good times you shared and the connection that they, they feel or still feel towards you. For others of you, it could be your person's message to you is, I got so much going on. My head is a mess. My heart is a mess. I got My life is a mess. Okay, maybe the third party isn't even another person, but a circumstance. So in this case, your person saying, look, my head and heart is a darn mess and I can't make sense of my world right now, but please know you are my person. You are my soulmate. I feel like they're also asking for understanding and a little bit of compassion with the Two of Cups because the card is an energy of alignment and understanding and seeing eye to eye with one another, right? Being on the same page as one another. So it's not that they don't feel this connection, even though they have issues or they're having troubles or they're feeling some kind of loss, sadness, or heartbreak, right? Or I, I'm hearing the word distortion. Okay, distortion. Not sure why maybe some of you could tell me what that means to you their 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 perspective something about something about the way they're seeing a situation just is not making sense to them but the one thing that is for certain no matter how effed up their situation may be or how conflicted between head and heart they may be in their circumstances the one thing that's certain is that you're their person the six of cups talks of having history with somebody sometimes past life history so this could be a past life connection um 
this could be a connection where no matter whether you're with them or not with them, you still feel that connection, like that that tug and pull towards them. Of all the soulmate cards you get, you get the two that are most significant in the tarot, right? Besides the, the lovers. Um, that's pretty cool. So to me, that's like triple confirmation here. One, two, and three. And yeah, I mean, the three of swords is the one thing that kind of throws everything off because it's like, wait a minute here. This connection is so real and authentic, whether you're with each other or not. And that, that cord is keep, is like, you know, pulling you to them and them to you. It's just like, you can't break the chain that binds or that connects you. You know, if, if this is the real deal, cause it feels like it's the real deal. Why is there heartbreak? Why is there sadness here with the three of swords? Why is there tears? You know, that's me just like not knowing, right? What your situation is. And, you know, as a reader curious to to what could be the problem I mean, let me know in the comment section right what is the issue in your dynamic in this what would look like a beautiful soulmate connection what is the thing that's causing this three sort right it's going to be individual to each and every one of you but it does feel sadness and like sadness like 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 hurt longing is also what i'm picking up from this with the six of cups and three swords together a yearning right so their message for you is i still yearn for you i still long for you um this is hurting me as much as it's maybe hurting you this separation aspect if there is a separation aspect the only reason why i say separation is because of the six of cups where oftentimes you're you're not you're at a distance from your person. You're not with them. You long from them, for them because they're not with you right now. They are missing from you, right? And for some of you, you know, it could be geographical. Maybe it's not even like a distance, distance as far as like not talking to one another or in a separation or something like that. Another reason why I bring up that separation is, again, because the Six of Cups um, and the heartbreak with the Three of Swords, you know, it could be a separation. But if it's not a separation, then it could be for whatever reason, I just got the vibe of like distance, right? They're somewhere, you're somewhere. And it's like, it's that it's upsetting because you're not with each other. Like you miss each other. You are missing from me. I am missing f literally from you because you're not in the same place as I am. Like that's the message they're also giving here. Okay. But I want to bring our cups together, right? Because look at it here. They are joining their cups and their cups right here. I don't know if you can see that. So the six of cups has a hidden two of cups in it, right? Let's take a look at these little cards. So their message to you is, I miss you. You're my person. You're my soulmate. There are issues that I'm dealing with right now. Three of swords, right? My mind and my head are not always on the same page in regards to my life. But that doesn't take away from the fact that you are my person. Okay. And that I miss you. I think about you. I look at your photos. I'm nostalgic for you. With the Six of Cups, the Two of Cups is our soulmate connection. I want nothing more than to see eye to eye with you, be eye to eye with you. Um, with the Two of Cups energy, you are my person, you are my soulmate. We had so many good times with the Six of Cups. I think back on those things, it, it feels like they're the one, those memories with the Six of Cups are the things that keep me sane when I'm feeling in my Three of Swords energy, right? We have history together. We have a bond uh, with the Six of Cups, especially. Um, I've never forgotten you. I haven't forgotten you. I won't forget you is also their message to you. If there is somebody in the picture, that doesn't keep them from thinking about you. If there's someone else in the way, it could be someone else in the way on your side, someone else in the way on their side. But if there is a third party involved, that does not keep them from feeling the connection to you, missing you, wishing they could be with you, talk to you. Um, they remember the good times. They still feel the bond and connection despite all this. Okay, so let's see if we can get three cards. Okay. Oh, all 
right, so mischief, trouble. All right, maybe that falls in line with the Three of Swords. Gift, so it speaks of a surprise. And misery, okay, bad luck, all right? So things just went south, possibly, in the connection. Um, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I'm just feeling like a misfortune here, okay? An, an unfortunate turn of events that maybe happened to create upheaval in your connection with the misery card. They could be miserable too, okay? Let's just put it that way. Their message to you could be that I'm miserable without you. Um, I've had my fair share of trouble. Um, the gift energy, though, does talk about Right, the gift, a gift in general. You could be the gift that it kind of feels like, okay, if I have to look at this literally, you are their gift. Okay, you're the one gift in their life, or you're the one thing that the universe, the one gift that the universe has brought into their life is what that's telling me. But it's also a surprise. So it's also giving me the vibe that you might have taken them by surprise. Maybe they didn't expect to fall in love. Um, they didn't expect to fall in love. They didn't expect to... find their soulmate, I guess, in you. And it could be that it just spelled trouble for them at the time. You know, if we want to take that literally... Something about bad timing. Something about bad timing. So it's kind of like they, they stumbled upon you with that gift card or were surprised by you with that gift card. Maybe the way that you landed in their life, maybe at a very awkward time. And it wasn't... Um, it wasn't what they... They had planned or expected, but nonetheless, you know, it is what it is. And it it happened the way it happened. And it's one of those things that they're, like, they have to, they always remember back to how they stumbled upon you or they came across you or life just surprised them with you. And now it's like they have the memory of that. I feel like there's frustration here, you know, um, with that three of swords and this card here. There's, um, like a, a feeling of like, uh, angst. Because it kind of feels like with the Six of Cups, they're in a position that they can't do anything about it, about this connection. They want to, but there's things getting in the way, it feels like. Like one obstacle after another, after another, after another that gets in the way. I think the timing or the aspect of encountering you was a surprise in their life. And it just feels like they met their soulmate. They met their person when they had all these things happening in their life all at once. And whatever their issue is, okay, um, is going to, obviously, your person, you've got thousands of you watching, your person's issue is going to vary, right? So it could be that they got a whole lot going on in their life and it's just like, ah, oh, why did I have to, you know, as much as I feel you as my person, why did I have to meet you like right now in the midst of all my mess? And I'm saying mess because of the three of swords in this misery card, right? But I also feel like at the same time, not being with you also makes them miserable, so... I mean, for some of you, their mess could be another person. Um, for some of you, their mess could be just, again, all the obstacles they have going on in their life right now where love, encountering love, finding love, being surprised by love, or finding themselves surprisingly in love with you um, is just not in a convenient It's not in a convenient time timing aspect is what this is telling me. Also, something, some obstacle could have gotten in the way to break this soulmate connection up. And now that they're not with you, they're just not happy or they're miserable or they're all that they're left with is the thinking back to you. Okay. 
So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of messages going on here, but the one thing is certain is that no matter what your person is experiencing or going through, because it looks like they're experiencing something serious. I mean, we have obstacles here. We have frustrations here. We have sadness and heartbreak here. Whatever it is that they're experiencing right now, the one thing that's certain is that you are their person and that they miss you. And they the one thing that keeps them sane, what it feels like, is the memory of encountering you, finding you, um, being surprised by you in many different aspects. I, it kind of feels like your love took them by surprise. It's something that they maybe weren't expecting, but it landed in their lap. And at the end of the day, it's the one thing that, I don't know why, for some of you, I heard that this, this is the one thing that helps them cope. Okay. Um, maybe gets through the tough times. Interesting. So if you're not familiar with my channel, what I do is I grab messages um, from my playlist for you guys by grabbing a song, pressing shuffle, kind of like divination on your shuffle um, on your playlist. So I have Spotify and what I do is, hold on a second. Okay, there we go. So what I do is I ask for a message from your person via a song. What I always tell you is that the message could be in the title itself and or in the lyrics. Go ahead and do your due diligence and look up the lyrics to see what other message you, messages you glean. Um, the song may or may not resonate for you. I don't know. But what I always say is that if it doesn't, that's okay. Because at the end of the day, music is awesome. And I just introduced you possibly to some new music, right? So let's see if we can get a message from your person. Um, let's see if they can dedicate to you a song, I guess, right? Um, again, do your due diligence, look up the lyrics to the song for additional messages, okay? So let's see, um, I press the shuffle button right here. The song comes up down there, okay? And then I'll, I'll blow it up so you can see it bigger. Okay, so let's see if we can get a song from your person. No way. Oh shit. Oh my God. Uh-huh, yeah. I mean, I, wow, this, this song is so deep. Okay, please, please, please look up this song. Okay, cheers, darling, Damien Rice. Yeah, I think you'll fall in love with this song, by the way, and the, it's beautiful, but yeah, it's, it's gorgeous, one of my favorites. Go ahead and look up this, I, I don't think you'll be disappointed, okay? I think this falls in line with the, the three of swords okay so i know this song very well i think it falls in line with the three of swords situation so go ahead and look that up see what it delivers to you okay uh if you feel that this has helped or connected for you by all means please do let me know in the comment section down below like share subscribe as well to support this channel uh every interaction does help this you know channel obviously support this channel so oh wait a minute here hold on i can't finish this quite yet i totally forgot your card here. So let's see what's on the back of that. Um, thank you for waiting. Um, anyhow, but let's see what it says. Okay, it says transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So yeah, um, this is giving me the vibe that there's a chance to conquer or overcome right, the issues at hand. This is your soulmate. That There's no doubt or dispute about that. But there's also a chance to conquer the issues and the struggles and the obstacles, okay, in the dynamic. Because at the end of the day, love conquers all things, right? So there is a chance to overcome all that is what this is telling me. And maybe transform or change the situation some way, somehow. So I kind of want to say if this is truly your person, maybe don't give up on that quite yet, okay? Okay. Anyway, what I was saying was that if you want to support my channel even further beyond a comment, beyond a view, or like, or share, or subscribe, maybe consider checking me out on Etsy. I do have personal readings there, um, handmade crystal jewelry, really cool tech tights, okay, like Moldavite and Libyan Desert Glass, uh, all the jewelry you see and all the items you see I make by hand. So pay me a visit to support my channel if you wish to. I appreciate your visits and your inquiries and all that stuff is always awesome to hear from you guys. So I will leave you here. 
Take care of yourselves, pile number three viewers. Most of all, though, keep shining.